Welcome back to Toasted Gaming Channel. So this is second video. Um, as I go through the history of FPS games, my mission to play every FPS game ever made. I wanted to make one video every single day. Let's start the game because you know nobody wants to hear me talk and not see the action. So, oh yeah, controls. I have to walk with arrows. We can do that. Um, wait, how do I? Oh, okay. So yeah. Got, got it, I got it. Uh, woo be to he that under entereth my domain. Nemesis Velich, Velich? Esquire. I don't care. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my mission on this channel is to play every FPS game ever made. And I wanted to do it like one video a day. Simple, that's it. Uh, I just thought that there's so many FPS games being made every single day, at least one, every single day, right? Not counting the weekends. I can't aim how I want. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'll try to make free videos every day. Nobody's gonna watch them, I don't care. This is my, this is my personal history lesson, I'm learning about all these old FPS games. So this is first time I'm playing. Catacombs 3D, never played it. I've seen maybe one or two reviews before in my life. I heard good stuff about it. This game was made by id Software, legendary company, the people who made Doom. Uh, but this was... Before Doom they made Wolfenstein 3D, but before Wolfenstein 3D they made this game. Catacombs 3D. And if you want to see what kind of FPS game they made before this one, you can check my previous video. I played... Hover Tank 3, that was their first FPS game. That was the one where they learned how to make FPS games. And then they improved on that concept with this game. Which is way better than Hover Tank 3D. It was made same year, but this is way better. What? So, you can buy this game on... On, 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 uh, on GOG. It's a catacomb pack, and it has every catacombs game. There's like five of them, I think. And I'll play two or three more, because not every catacombs game is FPS, but most of them are. And so, yeah, this time with the first one, we'll get to the two other ones later. Um, so, yeah, that version is already packaged with, with DOSBox. So you just install 16 megabytes, you click on EXE, DOSBox starts, it asks which game you want to play, you choose, that's it, simple. But I'm not playing that version, I mean I have GOG version, but I'm not playing on DOSBox, I'm using source code, there's a thing called uh, Keen Reflections I think, just type in Catacombs 3D source for to find it. And it works well. It moves great. I can aim with my mouse. I also walk with my mouse. I never like that feature in a game. In games, any FPS all games. Um, yeah, it's a good source port. Controls are already good. Resolution, I didn't change anything. Uh, it's Resolution is exactly the one that I started the game with. I started source port with. It was already my resolution, so that's cool. And there's other source part called Catacombs GL. Maybe that one makes game look better. I don't care, just give me OG Catacombs. We need a key, so I can open this door. I don't know how much I'll play. 15 minutes most, but maybe even less. I see that. What we shoot are bolts. But you could all, we can also find or get or have, I don't know, somehow we could get a hold of nukes. I'd like to throw a nuke or two. Yeah, so again from 91, if you didn't watch my previous video where I tried hover tank, I'm, I was born in 97, oh I got, oh I have one bolt and two nukes, I wonder how do we use it. Nope, I don't want to read it. I don't know how to change weapons, I mean powers, spells. Um, yeah, so I was made, I was born, well I was made by my my parents in 97, so that's the reason why I never played Catacombs. 
I know there's either any younger people like we were born after 97 we played this game. If you ever did, you're lying. I mean, maybe you did, but only as an adult, not as a kid. But it's not too bad. I'm sure it was amazing back when it was just released. I'm sure that if I was like a kid in 91 and my dad or mom, you know, no disrespect, um, they bought me for my birthday this game. I'm like seven years old, it's 91. I would have loved it. Because there was nothing like this before. No real FPS games before, except for Hover Tank 3D, but this game is way better. Um, but in 91, nobody had computers in my country back in 91. Shit. I mean, we were part of Soviet Union. I'm not Russian, I'm Lithuanian, by the way. Uh, we were part of Soviet Union until... What? Open the doors. Yeah, I have a key. Ah, uh, let's leave. Yeah, so we were part of Soviet Union until 91. So, well, let's say, yeah, 91. Who cares? And this game was released in 91. And I don't know, we had nothing fun in Soviet Union. Probably I wasn't even born back then, but I mean, compared to what people in UK, France, or USA, or other great countries had back in 91 we had nothing i remember my dad he was he was born in 95 so as a teenager maybe in like nine somewhere between 1990 and 1992 he had some kind of a computer actually because his parents were rich and he himself I remember him telling me that he made a simple game where we were this archer and there was a tank on the other side of the hill and you had to shoot, he like programmed it somehow, I don't know. But he told that story many times, I believe him. I mean, when I was born in 97, none of, our, none of my parents' friends had computers, but my parents did. When I was born, there was already a 97 computer in our home. We had no internet, but... Still, I would get tons of discs. I remember I was just four years old. San Andrea GTA 3 was just released and my dad bought it. He wanted to play it himself too, so. Um, when I was seven, he bought Call of Duty, first Call of Duty game. And that was my whole childhood. Original Call of Duty. And it was his favorite game too. Wait, was, what was I talking before about? Uh, mm. Oh yeah, so yeah, when I was born, there was already a computer in my home. I remember when I was like still a baby, like three or four years old, I was already playing games like Batman the Arcade Game or, but, or Batman Forever. What is that trash game called? And the original Doom I already played, so it was early 2000s. I was late, but... My mom was late with giving me birth. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So yeah, I think that's enough. I'm not even focusing on the game anymore. I'm just enjoying telling the stories to you guys. I just want to finish this level somehow and then we'll be done with the video. But like I said, uh, Catacombs will definitely come back to this channel because there's... There's... Oh, if you enter, you can throw nukes. And how do I... What? Oh, with space I can heal. Okay, I probably should have figured that out. I don't care. I just had fun shooting enemies. Is there a map? No. Nope. There's compass. How can this compass help anyone? What? It's stupid. Um, I guess let's think of something else, something else to talk. Yeah, we can talk about the company that made this game. It's software. Like I said, they made games before their first FPS game. But you don't talk about those. Um, you know what, I'll just stick to the wall. That's how you get out of maze. So, yeah, they made Hover Tank 3D, their first FPS in 91. Same year, they made this one. 
when in 92 they made legendary Wolfenstein 3D. Everybody knows Wolfenstein 3D, everybody loves it. I used to stream a bit on Twitch, I finished that game on stream, and every expansion pack there was. But it's not about that. Is there like... No, this game doesn't have an action button. <laughs> uh, so yeah, after Wolfenstein 3D they made Doom in 93. Everybody lost Doom. When in 94 they made Doom 2. Uh, what they made next? In 96 they made Quake. 97, Quake 2. 99, Quake 3. And now it makes me think, what did they make after Quake 3? I think Doom 3. So, it took them... Five years? Well, I mean, Quake 3 had Team Arena in 2000, so basically it took them at least four years to make... I think I'm gonna quit this game. At least four years to make... Uh, Doom 3. And after Doom 3... I think next game we made was... Can I just shoot us down? This is stupid. Let's try this place. What? It's just locked doors everywhere. Yeah, so after 2004, after they made... How come I don't have a single key? What is this bullshit? After, after, after Doom 3 in 2004, next game they made was Rage. In 2011, I think. What did they make next? 2010 or 2011? I don't remember, actually. This sucks. Can I quit the game now? Can we end this video? Uh, after Rage they made... I think their next game after Rage was... Doom 2016. That's true, right? I think so. After that they made Doom Eternal... And that's it? No, they made one other game. Rage 2. They did. Before. Help from other company. I quit this. I don't want to play this anymore. It's a good game. If you never played it. If you never played Catacombs 3D. Give it a try. It's fine. It's pretty good actually. You can also. I feel like if you typed. I don't know how legal that is. But you can type in Catacombs 3D. Play online. You can play it on browser. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna catch you. So. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And guys. I'll see you on another FPS game. Goodbye.